Welcome back to the sound for more channel. Today I have the pleasure to show you how you can quickly record MIDI notes coming out from Riffla Flow. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so we are inside Logic Pro for our iPad. Let's click on Create Project and let's click on Tracks and then let's click MIDI software instrument and we have a normal uh, MIDI track with an electric piano. Okay, perfect. We close that uh, keyboard view. We go to the um, view of the plugins. We click and hold where it says electric piano and we select replace. Now we choose Riffla Flow. I already have it here, but you can search for it there as well. You just type Riffla like so and it will come up and then you select it. Now we open it because we want we need to create a riff. So we just simply click on create riff. So there it is. And now we go back at the beginning, click play to listen to what it sounds like. Perfect. We go to the MIDI tab here. You can see MIDI output is set to channel 16. You can leave it there. I prefer to move it to channel one, but you don't have to do that. So we minimize that and actually we close it completely. Now, if you try to record, arm it for recording and then click uh, record. It will not record anything. The reason for it is because, again, if you go inside the plugin view, um, it is not a... Um, MIDI effect, okay, is an audio unit, an audio processor. Now, if you click on hold and you look at the different parameter, uh, different options, you don't really have anything which says record to track. However, if you were to add, for example, something like Riffa as a MIDI effect, but of course you cannot add the Riffla flow because it doesn't run as a MIDI effect. But just to show you, if you were to run a Riffa, yeah, click and hold, then you have an option here which says record MIDI to track. Okay, but you can't do that. So click and hold and remove that because Riffler Flow doesn't run as a MIDI effect. So how do we solve the issue? Well, let's close that view. Let's open the property here. And you find here a new options um, which is called internal MIDI in. And this is uh, sometimes used to accept uh, instrument input from another track, but it can also be used to instruct to accept instrument output, okay? In this case, from um, Riffla Flow. Let's activate that. Then let's arm for recording, go back at the beginning, click record. Okay, we stop and we made a recording. Let's activate the loop there. And just to prove that uh, Riffler Flow is not there anymore, click and hold here. Let's just replace it, for example, with the Vintage Electric Piano. Let's add perhaps a reverb, like Rack Reverb, why not? And let's click play. And this is how you record a MIDI event or MIDI note from Riffla Flow. I hope you enjoyed the short tutorial and as always, see you next time. Bye.